In this video, I want to show you how to add a combo box into your Excel spreadsheet. Uh, a combo box basically is going to be a pull down. Now, uh, in a different video, I show you how to do this with uh, the data and the data validation uh, technique, uh, and then uh, that'll certainly work. But in, in the way I'm about to show you, uh, this one will give you more flexibility. So let's say over here, where it says lunch, uh, I want that to be a pull down where they can pick a different expense type. Now, first of all, way off to the side over here in, in a different section of the spreadsheet, I have a list of the different uh, expense types. So somewhere off to the side, you make a list of the items that you want in your combo box. I put that off to the side so the user doesn't actually see that. So in this case, uh, I'm going to pick on the developer menu. And then I'm going to pick on insert. And then uh, now notice how there's form controls and there's ActiveX controls. And there's, notice how there's a combo box in, in either one. Um, I like the one in ActiveX controls better. It just seems to work better and it gives you more flexibility. So uh, let me show you that one. So you click there and then you click where you want that to appear in your spreadsheet. Now I'm actually going to resize this. And then pretty soon, I'm going to move it so it's right on top of that cell, but it's important for you to see what's happening here. But uh, you know, pretty soon I'll make it so it's it's right on top of that cell where I want it to be. So just by adding that in, uh, in the way I'm showing you, is not enough. We have to add properties onto that. So um, I just clicked somewhere else in my spreadsheet, and I'm going to click in that combo box again, and now it's selected as you can see. Once it's selected, I'm going to come up here and pick on properties and this new window is going to appear. Now, many of these properties are about the appearance, like where it says back color or border color, you know, that's about the appearance, but some of them actually make it work as well. Here's a really important one where it says link cell. So the link cell means what cell is going to be changed when we use the pull down. In this case, it's going to be cell F2. So I'm going to click where it says link cell and then I'll type in F2. Now here it says list fill range, and that's going to be where your list of items is. Well, I know mine happens to be from uh, V1 to V8, um, like I showed you before. You have to type that in as well. So the really important ones um, for the combo box are the linked cell. Here I have F2. And then the list fill range is where it's going to get the list of information from. In, in my case, I have V1 uh, through V8. Most of the other properties are about the appearance of, of how it looks. So I'm going to close that window with the X. Now to really make it work, you have to take yourself out of design mode. So I'm going to pick on design mode here. Now you can tell you're in design mode because it has that button has to have uh, kind of an orange background. I'm going to click there and now I'm out of design mode. Now look, I'm going to click on this new pull down that I just made. And now you can see your different expense types. And then I'll just pick one of those. And notice how F2 really did change. Watch again. I'm going to click on that pull down and I'll pick on taxi. And notice how F2 really changed. So now that I know that that's working, uh, I want to move the pull down so it's right on top of that cell. Now, in this case, I have to go back to design mode again. So I'm going to click on the word design mode under the developer menu. And I'm going to go ahead and, and just drag this up here. And I'm noticing that it needs to be a little bit bigger as well. So I'll make it just a little bit bigger. And now that should be very effective. So now to make it run again, I take myself out of design mode. I'm going to click on design mode again. And then I'll click on that. And let's say I pick on lunch. Now, F2 really did change to lunch. Now, in a previous video, I showed you how to uh, add this button that would run the filter using a, a, a command button. That's another control. And then we click on that. And notice how it has Austria and lunch items this time. Watch again. Uh, I'm going to pick on sheet two. I'm going to use the pull down that we just made and change the breakfast. Now I'll pick on run filter. And now you can see, well, maybe there wasn't Austria breakfast items. So let's go back and do that again. I'll just pick on lunch. And then I'll, I'll, I'll run that. And now you can see those Austria and lunch. So you can see the cell really is changing. So um, now in a, in a previous video, I showed you how to add the developer menu 
Um, but basically, once we did that, we picked an insert under the developer menu. And I like the, the um, combo box that's under the active X controls. It just seems to work better and it gives you more flexibility anyway. And that's how uh, that's another way we can add a combo box or a pull down onto your Excel spreadsheet.